So a friend is using the equation Pn equals 4,600 times 1.072 to the n to predict the annual tuition at a local college. She says that the formula is based on years after 2010, uh, and we're asked, what does this equation tell us? So we're trying to interpret this equation. Uh, so remember that the, the explicit form of the exponential looks like 1 plus r to the n times p0, which, just to note, these two things are being multiplied, so we could also write this as p0 times 1 plus r to the n. Either one would be correct. And in this case, but m the important thing here is that the 1 plus r is the thing being raised to the power of n. And so, if we look at our equation here, this part must be the 1 plus r. 1 plus r is 1.072, which means that our r is 0 0.072, which we remember that the r represents a percentage growth rate, and so our r is, moving the decimal place over to, 7.2% as our growth rate. And so this tells us that the tuition, tuition is growing by 7.2% each year, or at least that's what the model she's using is predicting or being based on. So our second value here, 4600, is the value that's multiplying times the 1 plus r to the n, and so it's our value for p0. So we know that p0 is 4,600. Our, our p value is being measured in, uh, is, its tuition, which suggests that it's going to be measured in cost. Um, and so the tuition, when n equals 0, uh, let's see, n equals 0 corresponds to the year, years after 2010. So $4,600 is the tuition in 2010 uh, at the local college that she's basing this on. So altogether, we can conclude that in 2010, the tuition at this local college was $4,600 for the year. And it's predicted that the tuition is going to be growing by 7.2% each year, and then this model could be used to predict the tuition in future years.